morning everyone, it's Sandy at Parker Farms and as promised I'm going to be cutting our new um, chamomile bergamot. Uh, I have to do a little research before I put these up because if I'm not mistaken I know bergamot may be um, <clears throat> one of the essential oils that is not good for women who are pregnant. So before I post it up for sale on the website or on Etsy. I will definitely do my uh, research there. Anywho, it is the last day of the year, ladies and gentlemen. And we are here at my house anyway. Every TV in the house. That means we have too many of them. Um, seriously. Ridiculous. We uh, are watching The Twilight Zone. My husband watches the marathon every year since I've known him, and I'm sure before that, he watches The Twilight Zone. And now my youngest daughter, no, my oldest daughter, is obsessive. She couldn't wait. Well, look how nice. Oh, I like this mold. This set up really, really well. It's so nice and smooth, not damp like with some of the other molds I've used. So we're gonna just scooch that out of the way. <clears throat> and you'll have to forgive this crazy nail polish of mine. Look at it. It is just hard. My nail polish remover doesn't seem to want to work. Now, it did bow out a little bit. These are nice, chunky, very big. Came out very limey green. See that? I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um, got about a half an inch of, of frosting here. <clears throat> Look at the dwarf. <laughs> little dwarf. I'm going to use this because I'm never a good measurer. Let me get my, do I have that one here? I'm going to use this one. Cut off our little end here. So we are bidding farewell to the new, to the old. What's a little crumbly? What's going on here? I don't know about that. <clears throat> Maybe it's just the way I cut it. Yes, you may be excused. We are going to uh, celebrate with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law who live in Texas. They're going to be here visiting with their two of their children. So we will be having some fun. Okay, yeah, we've got a problem with this recipe. This is one not so good crumbly soap. Oh wow, check that out. I have a funny feeling I know what happened. We got a little too much coconut oil in here. This is not nice. <clears throat> Trying to think and see where my other cutter is. Maybe my other cutter will help. Hold on guys, be right there. sure if it's the cutter, but I'm really pretty sure it's going to be this soap recipe. This is not pretty. What is going on here? Let's see, do I have that evenly? Oh yeah guys, look how awful that is. What in the world happened to this? <clears throat> it smells pretty darn good, but it is the worst crumbled soap on the planet. So well, that's the end of that story guys. Look how nice it is. No wonder it's so nice and smooth and solid. There's something wrong with it. That's so bizarre. I never had that happen to me. But I'm thinking I did alter this recipe a little bit. This is one I've used before, but I added a little too much coconut. Um, and I think we got a little way too hard of a bar. So for those of you who wanted to really watch this soap cutting, I really apologize. 
Okay, guys, then I'm going to sign off with a happy new year. Cheers. Enjoy. Don't drink and drive. Be responsible. Kiss your loved ones. Hug your kids. Call your friends. Happy new year. May every blessing be yours next year and every year thereafter. Take care from Bakker Farms. Can't wait to see you in the new year. Bye-bye.